students myself Yul Kodia from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology so in last session uh, we derived one uh, theory that is static force analysis of IC engine mechanism so in today's session we solve one basic numerical based on static force analysis of IC engine so in today's session we have to solve one numerical and you have to remember all the equation like piston effort cylinder sidewall thrust for force separate on connecting load, radial force, tangential force, torque and relationship between theta and phi. We have to use all equation in this numerical. So in last session we already derived all the equation. Clear? So in today's session we have to solve one numerical based on that. So the crank pin circle radius of horizontal engine that is 300 mm. Now here is an engine consider we have to consider as a horizontal engine. So in horizontal engine we have to neglect the effect of the weight of the piston clear so here is the crank radius is given that is small r is 300 mm the mass of the reciprocating part that is 250 kg and when the crank has traveled 60 degree from inner dead center so here is the angle is given that is theta that is value of theta that is 60 degree from idc that means inner dead center the difference between driving and the back pressure that is 0.35 newton per mm square so here is a given that is a gas pressure now you all know gas pressure indicates small p to g that is 0.35 newton per mm square the connecting road length between center is 1.2 meter so length small l is given that is 1.2 meter and cylinder bore that means diameter of cylinder that is 0.5 meter so small d that is 0.5 meter if the engine run at 250 rpm that means capital n is given so based on n you can find value of omega that is 2 pi n by 60 and you have to calculate value of omega and if the f effect of piston road diameter is neglected now you have to calculate first one pressure on slide bar clear second thrust in connecting road third one tangential force on crank pin and fourth one turning moment on crank sub that means torque so you have to calculate all four value clear so first of all we have to list out given data so small r is equal to crank radius that is 300 mm that means 0 0.3 meter next is a mr uh, that is indicate reciprocating mass that is 250 kg Next, theta angle crank made angle with inner dead center that is 60 degree. Now, gas pressure is given that means P1 minus P2 that is 35 Newton per mm square. Small l length of connecting rod that is 1.2 meter. Capital D that is diameter of cylinder bore that is 0 0.5 meter that means 500 mm. And capital N that is RPM 250 RPM. You can calculate value of uh, omega based on RPM that is 2 pi n by 60. If you put value of n over here, then you will get answer of omega that is 26.2 radian per second square. Now, first we have to calculate first piston effort. We know that net load on piston. Now we have equation of the net load on piston that is FL is equal to P1 minus P2, that means gas pressure pi by 4 d square. So this is gas force is equal to you have to put all the value over here P1 minus P2 you have to put 35 0.35 pi by 4 d square so 500 square and you will get answer of the FL that is 68730 Newton. Now ratio of length of connecting rod and crank that is N is equal to L by R. So value of L that is 1.2 meter and value of R that is 0.3. So answer of that that is 4. So value of a uh, obligatory ratio that is 4. Clear? Accelerating or inertia force on reciprocating part. Now you have to remember equation of the inertia force that is Fi is equal to mr omega square into r in bracket cos theta plus cos 2 theta upon a. You have to put all value over here first put mr is equal to 250 kg omega is equal to 26.2 radian per second square r is equal to 0 
angle is 60 degrees so cos theta means cos 60 plus cos 2 theta that means cos 120 divided by 4 so uh, if you calculate all this value and you will get answer 19306 newton clear so now piston effort that means gas force minus inertia force because inertia force always applied in opposite direction so fp is equal to fl minus fi that means 68730 minus 19306 and you will get answer that is 49.424 kN clear so this is the answer of the piston effort now you all know uh, equation of the piston effort that is gas force minus inertia force if we consider a resistance force then again you have to subtract resistance force from this force and this engine is a horizontal engine that's why we uh, have to neglect the weight of piston clear so this is the answer of the piston effort now we have to calculate pressure on this slide bar now phi that is angle of inclination of connecting rod to the line of stroke now sin phi is equal to sin theta upon n clear now we have the value of theta that is 60 degree clear so sin 60 upon 4 now value of sin 60 that is 0.866 upon 4 clear if you calculate this value and you will get sin phi is equal to 0 0.2165 clear so this is the answer of the sin phi so if you find out the answer of phi in degree then so you have to find out phi is equal to sin inverse 0 0.21 Six five clear and you will get answer of phi that is 12.5 degree now we have the equation of the fn pressure on slide bar clear fn piston side thrust or cylinder normal reaction on cylinder side wall that is fn is equal to now we have equation of fn fn is equal to fp 10 phi already we did a value of the fp so fp is equal to 49.424 into 10 phi now we have the value of 5, so 10, 12.5. You have to multiply these two values and you will get answer of the Fn that is 10.96 kN. Clear? Now next, that is a thrust in the connecting rod Fq. Clear? Now we know that thrust in connecting rod, we have the equation of thrust in connecting rod. That is Fq is equal to Fp upon cos phi. Is equal the value of Fp and cos phi over here. Fp is equal to 49.424. In denominator, you have to put cost 12.5 is equal to 50.62 kN. So this is the answer of the thrust in the connecting rod. Now, tangential force on the crank pin. We know that tangential force on the crank pin, that is Ft, is equal to Fq into sin theta plus phi. Now we have the value of theta as well as phi. Put both the value over here. Put value of Fq over here. So Fq is equal to 50.62 into sine 60 plus 12.5 and you will get answer of tangential force that is 48.28 kN. Clear? And last turning moment on the crank shaft. We know that the turning moment on crank shaft equation of the torque that is Ft into R. Clear? We already derive value of Ft that is 48.28 value of r that is radius of the crank that is 0 0.3 is equal to 14.484 kN into meter clear so in uh, this uh, example we derive total 5 forces first force piston effort second force cylinder sidewall effort third force separate and connecting rod fifth uh, we uh, find out the tangential force because we have to find out value of torque so an equation of torque, tangential force is come, so we have to have determine value of tangential force. Clear? And also we have to calculate value of phi based on the relationship between sin theta and phi. Clear? So sin theta, phi, sin theta is, uh, is equal to sin phi upon n. Based on that, you can calculate the value of phi. n is equal to obligate ratio, n is equal to small l upon r. Clear? So you have to remember total six equations. First one, relationship between theta and phi. Second one, obligate ratio. Third one, piston effort, force separated on piston effort. Fourth one, uh, force separated on connecting rod. Fifth one, tangential force and equation of the torque. So based on that, you can solve any of the numerical based on a, a static force analysis of IC engine mechanism. Clear? So in IC engine mechanism, uh, 
you have to remember all the equation of the all the applied forces clear so this is the example of the force and now in today's session we uh, saw numerical based on horizontal uh, uh, ratio horizontal uh, ic engine clear so whenever we discuss about vertical ic engine at that time you have to consider weight of the piston clear whenever uh, you calculate piston effort at that time you have to subtract weight it depends on piston either moving top and side to bottom and side or bottom and side to top and side clear so equation of the piston effort is equal to gas force uh, minus inertia force minus uh, resistance force plus gravitational force clear so in today's session we derive or when we discuss a numerical based on static force analysis clear so uh, uh, this is the uh, chapter is a uh, dynamic force analysis so in next session we will discuss some basic fundamental of correction kappa clear so in today's session we solve some numerical based on static force analysis and we derive value of piston effort connecting rod effort uh, tangential force and value of the torque clear thank you